All right, Rampage, did you I mean this press conference was a lot calmer than a lot of us uh, anticipated? Uh, were you expecting to be this calm? Because we thought you guys were going to go off at each other again. Well, that's what you guys get for inspecting. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a professional. This is, you know what I'm saying? It's not, a, it's not about showing how how upset I am at, at the guy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's down to the wire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do my. I do my talking in the cage anyway, so you know what I'm saying. He he kept it civil, you know. I, you know I'm not the trash talker here. I'm not the you know I'm not the one. You know what I'm saying. So. One of the things you mentioned uh, is you cannot wait for Saturday. It's like Christmas, waking up and opening up a present just to tee off on this guy. As you get closer to the fight, does do the emotions get the better of you? And how you plan on, on checking that emotion when you get in there on Saturday night? Well, I don't know. I, I never fought a guy that I dislike as much, so it's all new. I don't know. You've got a very international flavor. You're an American. You train over at the Wolves there, and now you've got a Canadian connection in Lance Gibson, which makes a lot of Canadians proud over here. Talk about Lance Gibson. Talk about training at the Wolves there and bringing it all together to make yourself the best fighter in that light heavyweight division. Well, me, you know, saying I, li- I just like to train with the best people around, and and I like to, you know, saying train with people who I'm comfortable training with because I, I I have a different training style than other people I would imagine. But you know, saying Wolfsler is good. I got a lot of great uh, sparring partners and a lot of great coaches and stuff out there as well. Uh, you got Mark Kennedy, the uh, great boxing coach, and you got Mario Sakata, great jiu-jitsu coach, and you even got they even got a great tie coach out there, Dave Jackson, as well. You know what I'm saying? But um, and, uh, and they got you know what I'm saying great wrestlers come coming in from all over the world. But the thing I brought Lance this time because um, you know Michael Bisbee and I are both training at the same time, and you know what I'm saying uh, I didn't want to take away from Michael Bisbee's tie coach, Dave Jackson and stuff. So I brought my tie coach, and he turned out to be like, a great asset. You know what I'm saying? And and the guys, you know, saying one of the great, one of the best tight coaches I ever had. He's the best tight coach I ever had. Just the way he motivates me and and um, his system and the way he holds pads for me and the way he teaches me. And, and you know, so I just lucked out. I, he was right up under my nose a long time. But I trained with him years ago in Big Bear. And so just, you know, he was up under my nose in Vancouver the whole time I was doing the movie. I trained at his gym out there. But I didn't, you know, I didn't think to have him train me because I had brought somebody with me to, to do all that. And, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I found out what type of coach he is. Dana says everything is squashed. The beef is done. You guys are sort of friends again. How do you see their relationship or not? Because you never really reacted when he said everything was fine. Is everything okay with you two? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm a um, businessman. What people uh, fail to understand about me, I, I, I put myself in other people's shoes. I know that the UFC is is like Dana's baby, and, and he had the UFC in his best interest. And you know, what I'm saying I'm not upset about that, but uh, people need to understand that I don't have the UFC. in in, in my best interest, I don't have the UFC in my best interest. I have me and my family in my best interest. You know, so I know that I'm not a fighter like Randy Couture. I'm not going to be fighting when I'm 45 years old and stuff like that. So I, you know, what I'm saying I want to, I don't want to uh, open up a, a gym and just be at the gym and just be coaching people at the gym. I'm, you know, I'm, I will open up a gym just so I can have my own gym trainer and some some of my friends can can help me out. And I, I do the whole gym thing, but that's not what I'm going to do. That's not. I'm not going to retire and open up a gym and be stuck in the gym every day training people. You know what I'm saying? I hate gyms. You know, why I'm going to do that? I want to uh, entertain people. So I decided I wanted to do a movie. It's like once in a lifetime. It's the hardest decision ever because I was supposed to fight in Memphis. But uh, hopefully people from Memphis, they understood that, that, you know what I'm saying, what I did the movie was bigger than that one fight. You know what I'm saying? Rashad didn't even have a belt. You know what I'm saying? I was, you, you guys don't even know the behind the scenes. You know why? why you know what I'm saying? I, was, I wanted to be on the road to get my belt back. So but the movie was, 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 uh, was more important to me at the time. You mentioned how it was an emotional connection with your father to play B.A. Baracus. Did it live up to the hype? Are you happy? Can you are you would really anticipate this movie release and seeing how they all put it together? I don't care nothing about the movie right now. I, I'm focused on this fight. So the movie is the last thing, I, the last thing I even really think about. It, really, so you guys bring it up all the time. But I'm not anticipating. No, I'm anticipating his ass what I'm gonna give this guy on on Saturday. There you have it, Rampage Jackson taking on Sugar Rashad Evans this Saturday at the MGM Grand Garden Casino.